friends in the last video i have explained the random variable once again let me repeat here if a real variable is associated with every outcome of a random experiment then it is called as a random variable okay in the form of a, uh, mathematically also i explained random variable is a function from a sample space to a real number r here in this random variable there are two types one is discrete random variable and another one is continuous random variable if a random variable takes a finite or a step by step countable infinite numbers then that sequence of real numbers is known as a discrete random variable in this discrete random variable we are going to study two types of distributions that is binomial distribution and another one is a poisson distribution let me explain about the binomial distribution here a random experimenter if you are doing for each trial for each trial if there are only two type of outcomes it may be success or it may be failure okay for each trial there are two possible outcomes only success and failure we are defining that success okay such trials are known as bernoulli's trials if any trial has only two outcomes success and failure such trials are known as bernoulli's trials using this if that success has the probability as a small p if we represent small p as a probability of success and small q as a probability of failure then the probability of x successes out of n trials if you are doing same n trials if you are doing same n trials whose which has only outcomes a single trial has only outcomes of success or failure then out of n successes what is the probability of x successes out of n trials that is given by p of x is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x where this is n c x is a combination of n out of selecting x successes and p probability of success q is the probability of failure where n is the number of trials then whether this is a probability function or not to check that again the by the definition of probability function okay sum of all the probabilities must be equal to 1 i have to show okay here for x equal to 0 zero successes it is given by nc0 p raised to 0 q raised to n minus 0 for n equal to 1 nc1 p raised to 1 q raised to n minus 1 for 2, n c2, p raised to 2, q raised to n minus 2 and uh, so that for n successes, only n trials are there, therefore maximum n successes may come, therefore n c n, p raised to n, q raised to n minus n. These are sum of all these probabilities is nothing but it comes under the binomial theorem that is a p plus q raised to n but probability of success plus probability of failure is equal to 1 we know already therefore p plus q is replaced by 1 1 raised to n is equal to 1 therefore p of x represents for us probability function for the binomial distribution and then mean and standard mean and standard deviation of a binomial distributions are given by mean is equal to n into p small p n is number of trials p is probability of success and variance is given by n p q like that standard deviation is given to the square root of variance therefore square root of n p q is the binomial distributions detail you have to remember here probability function probability function p of x is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x for n trials 
and again what remember mean equal to np and variance equal to npq are very very important for me here let me explain one more discrete probability that is poisson distribution this poisson distribution is nothing but the limiting form of a binomial distribution so this poisson distribution is nothing but the limiting form of binomial distribution where the number of trials n tends to infinity that is very large if n tends to infinity means n is very large and probability of success small p is a very small that is p tends to 0 then the quantity some quantity that is n into p very large number into very small number will give you a finite number let me call that finite number by m okay this m is some finite number as n tends to infinity and p tends to 0 using this i can derive probability function for the poisson distribution is given by m raised to x e raised to minus m divided by x factorial where m is equal to n into p and x is the number of successes known as poisson's variate x is number nothing but success number of successes and also known as a poisson then using this probability function i have to show that this represents a probability distribution function okay then for x is equal to 0 p of x is given by m raised to 0 e raised to minus m divided by 0 factorial for x equal to 1 m raised to 1 e raised to minus m divided by 1 factorial m square for 2 x equal to 2 m square e raised to minus m 2 factorial and so on up to infinity because number of successes n x number of trials also tends to infinity here in previous bi uh, binomial distribution it ends for n but here it tends up to infinity then adding these all these things must give you equal to 1 therefore summation of all p of x is equal to from all the things e raised to minus m i can take common then m raised to 0 is 1 divided by 0 factorial is also 1 therefore 1 plus m plus m square divided by 2 factorial e raised to minus m is taken common m cube divided by 3 factorial and so on this is nothing but the expression for e raised to minus m therefore e raised to minus m e raised to plus m is nothing but e raised to 0 e raised to 0 is nothing but 1 therefore sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1 therefore p of x is equal to e raised to x sorry m raised to x e raised to minus m divided by x factorial represents a probability function for the poisson distribution using that i can prove again mean is equal to m variance is equal to also m and standard deviation also equal to square root of variance that is square root of m this is regarding the introduction of probability distribution functions of binomial and poisson distribution using these properties i have to solve some examples on this okay subscribe my channel and share the comments for further improvements thank you friends